KCAA Radio AM 1050. Hey, tell a friend. AM 1050. Hello and welcome to Let's Go Shopping with Bev. This show brought to you by Starflight Entertainment. Music by Dr. Bombay and the Blue Machine Band. Song title, Living in Paradise. Now here's Bev. Well, happy Friday to everybody out there, and I hope you're all staying cool and happy. And, you know, when you're traveling around and you need something to drink, go to Starbucks. Oh, yeah, they have the coolest different iced teas out there right now that you would not believe. All the flavors, they're absolutely gorgeous. It will cool you down. Your car will cool down a little bit, and you can go... Um, before you get back up on the road or the freeway or the byway, you know, whatever you're going to be on. And I hope everybody's seen my post this morning because we are going to have one very fun and very interesting program. Our first guest, and we're going to be waiting for a few minutes, is going to be Owen or Jesse from the California Theater of Performing Arts right here in San Bernardino. And they're going to be calling in our second guest, the one... One and only is Tanya. Oh, I met her at the golf tournament last week. Absolutely, say hello, Tanya. Hi, everyone. Nice to talk to you. Yes, and Tanya, why don't you tell everybody real quick where you're from? I'm originally from South Africa. That explains the funny accent. I don't think it's funny. I love it. It it reminds me of the UK. A, A lot of people tell me that. Yeah, and the name of your company. I have a medical massage business called the Treatment Center. And pretty soon we're going to get into that. This woman is a genius. There were so many questions I thought were silly, and she thought they were pretty good, so I felt pretty good. And we're going to be talking about all of everything that she can do from the smallest little tiny infant all the way up to somebody 110, 112 years old. And uh, i got to break in real quick. Joey, who do we have, please? I see the light of flashing. Who's Joey? Who, who is this Joey you're talking about? Hey, <laughs> Italian Joey. All right. Hey, all right, hey, all right, hey. Right. It's giving you a hard time. Uh, yeah, we're, we're joking around here. I think the heat finally got to all of us today. You know that you're the only one that calls me that besides my grandparents? Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. No one gets away with that. But me. <laughs> oh, I feel so blessed. See, all the pasta and everything I bring in this station. <laughs> That reminds me, it's time for more. (laughs) Yes, it will be. Well, this weekend, if I come in with the painters, I will bring you something. Nice. All right, I have, I don't know where we're going with this. (laughs) (laughs) Somebody from the California Theater? Yes, we have Jesse. He is on line 62. Hi, Jesse. Welcome to the show. How are you doing? Hi, Bev. How are you? We're doing good. We're joking around. We're talking about food again. I got Italian Joey, my board up. Yay. Yeah, and we're supposed to be in this weekend. The painters are coming in. We're going to start uh, doing some major surgery in here. Joey's going to be working. He said it's time for more pasta. So I'll get up early in the morning. I'll make him some pasta, and I'll bring it in for him. That sounds fantastic. Yeah, we got to keep these guys happy, just like our mechanics. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> yeah. So, Jesse, um, before we get started about what's coming up on the 28th of this month, Let's uh, talk a little bit about the event that you had at the theater today. Okay. Uh, well, we had a graduation here today. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, so we had the Art Institute in here, and they were graduating tons of chefs. Probably would have loved your pasta then, too. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah, because when I went over uh, to drop some stuff off for you and Owen, I, I seen them, and I seen the white ca- um the jackets? Yeah. And when I got there, all I could see was the back of the jackets. I couldn't see the front. <laughs> and I'm going, what medical school is here? Oh, right. No, they were all chefs. <laughs> Graduating chefs. So, well, good food coming your way. Congratulations to all of them. Yeah. Yes. And you're like I am, our favorite subject, food. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. And now, also, let's start talking about the lovely event that you're going to have on the 28th of this month. Yeah, we have a uh, Miss Saigon coming, which should be absolutely fantastic. Um, it, we've had Miss Saigon here a couple of other times, and uh, this is about our third third time. I am so excited about that. And uh, are you one of the producers this year? I am. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm one of the producers of the show. 
and how how did you decide to have them back, and how exactly did you become a producer? Well, um, I became a producer basically by starting to direct and, you know, just doing all the things that I could around the theater here, and uh, finally worked my way into uh, getting my own company to produce my own shows, so... You know, uh, it's one of those things where you start at the bottom and climb your way up. <laughs> oh, I know that one. Yeah. Yes. And now, how many are in the cast this year? Uh, this this cast we're doing a little differently. Um, a lot of people might have seen uh, Fiddler on the Roof in Riverside that they just did, mm-hmm. and they did it with a cast of eight. However, we don't have eight. We have 16. So, um, But normally, Miss Saigon is around 30, so we're doing doubling on a lot of roles which is really um, uh, kind of interesting and, and fun. And um, it, it's simply a fantastic show. I mean, it's based on um, Puccini's Madame Butterfly. So mm-hmm. it's really the, it similarly, you know, tells the, the tale of uh, doomed romance and uh, women being abandoned by her American lover. It's just, it's a, a really crazy story but it, it's fantastic and everyone just just raves about miss saigon when they see it and i love that i really do and this is right in my era because it was during the vietnam war right, w- right. when this thing and a lot of the kids from the neighborhood you know you know back east we call everybody a kid <laughs> and and a lot of them went over to vietnam oh, yeah. and so and be and then you know it's one of the little hippies and we were marching against it you, you know all that good stuff <laughs> right yeah, so this one is right up my alley. And then also where it said it's set during the turmoil of the Vietnam War, the story centers on an American soldier mm-hmm. and a Vietnam girl who fell in love. Absolutely. Only yeah. to be separated um, by the fall of Saigon. Right. You know, hearing this, I think what's going to happen is a lot of people that were actually over there during this era, I think that is going to be, they will, I think, pick it up more than one that was not really there. Oh, yeah. Well, and, and let me tell you a cute little story from the last time we did this show. We There is a, a projection in this show during a song called We Doi, which is about the children of uh, half American, half Vietnamese children that got left behind. Mm-hmm. Well, in the in the video that we did of these actual children, um, last time, one of them was recognized by a family member sitting in our audience and actually was able to be able to reconnect with them after all these years from being in Vietnam. So, Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Are you kidding? Yeah, it was, it was crazy. But, yeah, they did a full article on it in The Sun last time. And, uh, you know, it was just a wild story. But um, So I don't know if that person will be coming back, but we're using the same video as last time. So Let's uh, see what happens. Yeah. Hey, you know what? If you found if you found the, the these people again, you could produce another like part two. Yeah, right, right. You know Coming what I mean? Home or something? Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, and I'll help you with that one if you want to. Okay. That that's Sounds gonna like a story, be. Doesn't it? Yes, yes. <laughs> and now, for one to uh, get the tickets, <laughs> let's bump out all that contact information, please. Sure. If they want to get tickets, of course they can go to Ticketmaster dot com and search for Miss Saigon, or they can call our box office direct at 909-885-5152. And your www. www.californiatheater.net. And you have two performances on Saturday, June 28th. You have a 2 p.m. and an 8 p.m. Indeed, uh, yeah, 2 p.m. and an 8 p.m. performance. Uh-huh. Um it's a lovely show, and just encourage anyone to come out. It's beautiful music. It's written by the same folks that did Les Mis, so, you know, it's quite a wonderful musical. It's going to be fantastic. And the tickets are begins at $38.50 up to $75. That's correct. And, and if you're looking for a, a bargain deal, we still have a few left on Gold Star. So, uh, you know, there's a few tickets there that we put aside for folks that, you know, and need a little bit better break in the hard time economy. You know? And talking about that, uh, you and Owen were nice enough to release some tickets to me today. Right. And we have 
two sets of tickets. That means four tickets, two per person. And the phone lines are open, 909-888-5228. Right, Joe? Um, they Eight. can just call the toll-free number, 888-909-1050. Oh, we got that one back. It's okay. Yeah. All right. And so toll-free is 888-909-1050. The phone lines are open anytime during this program. If you decide you'd like them tickets, give us a call straight away, and we are giving out the tickets to you. I got a, Those I got a, are a hot commodity. I got yes. a question for Jesse. Yes, sir. So when women find out you're a producer, how does that go over? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, when, it, it goes great at first, but then when they find out you're a theater producer, it not so much. Yeah. <laughs> and then people are, eh. You have to tell them everything. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> right? Because I'm a producer. Well, Jesse, thank you so much for this time. And also, the theater is right across the street from where we are, yep. right here in San Bernardino. And we will keep you updated on the address phone number in www. And it is on my Facebook, and it posted everywhere. And again, if you want some more information about this that you didn't hear, you can call me to direct at 909 797 Eight two nine one, and Jesse, thank you so much for your time. And I will see you. You're welcome. And I will see you at the theater. All right, we'll see you here. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. Hey, Tanya. Guess what? It's your turn. (laughs) Hey, Bed. We're having so much fun. Yes. Back here, laughing and um, chatting. Mm Mm-hmm. Now let's let's get to this. Um, Before we get started, let's tell everybody. Where actually we met, because this is a funny story. We let, met at the Loma Linda um, Chamber of Commerce, was having a golf tournament in San Bernardino uh-huh. just this week. Yeah. And I was working on some golfers, doing some chair massage, and we were enjoying the beautiful day. Oh, it was beautiful out there, wasn't it? Yeah, and we got it talking, and bada bing, bada boom, here you are. That's you know? right. Yes. Now, Tanya, would you please start... From the beginning of your story, when did you get started and why? I got started in massage therapy many years ago. Um, a friend took me for a free massage, and I had a headache. And I couldn't believe it. I tried everything to get rid of this headache. And in 15 minutes of massage, my headache was gone. And that's when I realized massage isn't just a luxury. It's something that's good for your health, and it's therapeutic. And that's where my journey began. I love that story. And how many years have you been doing this? I've been a therapist about 15 years now. I've just um, opened my own practice, and I've had that for about one year in Loma Linda, California. Oh, fantastic. And when when you did do it, how did you, did you have to go to school, or how does one learn to become a therapist? Yeah, you have to go to school. You have to get the training. I have a two-year degree in medical massage. Um, as well as many, many workshops all over the country. It's just been a cumulative thing. I love it. And did you go to school here, or where did you go to school? I actually went to school in Tennessee and got my training there. And then I got involved with a medical massage school in Redlands, California, and actually became the main instructor there for the last 10 years. That, I love that story. Now, I, I have a couple of questions to ask you first, okay, if, if you don't mind. Uh, now, go ahead. When, when we were talking about this uh, in, in the back room at the round table, that's where we have our little meetings and our coffee and all that good stuff. And I wanted to ask you now, why is massages so good for everybody? Because you told me you can do it on small little infants all the way up. That's right. Uh, massage is um, amazing for your health. One of the main reasons is just increasing the circulation. What that does is it brings fresh blood, nutrients, oxygen to your body, Uh and it promotes healing. It takes away um, waste products. It balances the hormones, lowers blood pressure. If you get back into balance, you can even help joint problems and aches and pains you wouldn't think massage would even be able to help you with. So it's an amazing... um, It's good for prevention, and it's good for trouble areas, aches and pains. And we all got aches and pains, you know. 
That is true. Yeah, my worst ache and pain is when my outlaws come to visit. <laughs> I'm not sure if massage can help with that. Oh, son of a gun. I was kind of hoping you'd say you, you had a cure for that. And now, another question, and I don't want to sound silly, but I, you know, really want to find out. When you do the small, little, tiny infants, how... I mean, they're, they're like a little butterball turkey, and the bones are really not developed. Mm. How do you do that where you don't injure them? Well, um, the infant massage, I actually don't work on them myself. I teach parents how to massage their own children, and that promotes bonding, and um, it's much more therapeutic than if I, a stranger, were to massage someone else's mm-hmm. child. But um, I teach the right amount of pressure um, you want a firm but soft pressure. There's certain areas that you want to be careful on the skull. There's some soft spots you want to be careful with. Mm-hmm. But um, just a firm, gentle pressure is very safe and therapeutic. And now with a small infant or a toddler, when they start this, there has to be a reason why they're starting it. And how does it correct whatever is wrong with this little infant or this toddler? Often with infant massage, you're not specifically trying to correct a problem it's just um it's a general treatment that just helps overall wellness it actually helps the um, brain to make connections and it develops the baby's brain it helps them to sleep longer be less fussy um the things that every parent wants for their child basically Mm -hmm. is what it helps with that's amazing yeah one of these days if i had the opportunity i i would love to see how this is done yeah, you know, it's, just out of curiosity, you know what I mean? It's amazing to see it, to see, especially when you see a parent do it, you see that um, connection between the the um, parent and the child. It's a beautiful thing to watch. Oh, i got to see this. This is so good. And, now, and the other um, question I wanted to ask you, talking about the ages. Mm-hmm. All right, now, the older that we get, and with the teenagers or young adults, and with all the different sports that, you know, they get involved in, mm-hmm. from dance to skating to this to that and everything else, when they get injured, and I asked you this um, before, but let's bring it up again. If somebody does get hurt like that, the first thing people automatically do is put ice on it because they don't want the swelling. And then they put the heat on. You corrected me on that. So correct me again so everybody else can hear what's going on. Actually, if anyone has an acute injury, they really should see medical help right away because you don't know what could be going on. But just in general, an acute injury, if the area is hot, um, that shows that there's inflammation, and that's an indication for ice. So if you're not sure if you should put heat or ice, if you feel the area and it feels hot, then put ice on it. And Mm -hmm. if the area feels cold, it probably means that there's not a good blood flow, and that's a very good time to put heat it's very simple. I'm going to remember that. Yes. You know, because me, I, you know, some of the crazy things I do, I'm going, all right, is it hot or cold? Let me see. You know, and, and then, I, then I'll know. And then the other thing, too. Now, what other things should people be aware of before they come to you? Or when, when should they pull the trigger to come to you? Actually, the sooner you come to see a massage therapist, the better. Because prevention is better than trying to fix a problem. And with a medical massage, as we massage the body, we look for tight areas, areas that aren't, um, that could possibly get injured later on. So really, the sooner you come, the better. Prevention mm-hmm. is always better than fixing it after, you know, there's been a sprain or strain. Um, so don't wait. Come for a massage right away. Get yourself in a good place. Um, you only have one body, so you really want to take care of it. Yeah, and then this is, to give people cracking up here, this is the question. I get. When you get, when they get all done, do you give them a lollipop? No, but I have um, spa water. Oh, there you which go. Which is very nice. There you go. That, that works. And before we go on, why don't you bump out some contact information, like address, phone number, hours, and www? Oh, sure. Um, I'm located right in the middle of Loma Linda. Um, 25805 Barton Road, Suite 107. I'm actually located in a doctor's office. I'm just a few doors down from Yogurtlicious, if you're familiar with Loma Linda at all. And um, my phone number is 909-206-9191. One more time, please. 
um, 909-206-9191. I'd love to hear from you. Yes. And now, and now tell us more uh, about this. What other things should one do? Now, what, a lot of people are a little bit afraid to come for medical massage because they think that I'm going to beat up on them, and that's not what's going to happen. Often, um, therapeutic massage just means whatever your body needs, and sometimes that might be relaxation. You may be stressed out. Um, so just don't be afraid of the deep the therapeutic work. I never work um, to where it's painful. Uh, just be aware that um, I always work within your comfort zone, your comfort level, and um, all my clients are in charge of the session. So if something doesn't feel comfortable, you can say at any time, and I'll ch- I'll change what I'm doing. Really, I like that because a lot of times you see these movies or television programs, right? And and there's laying on this table by the beach or something and they're getting this my shoes and, and all this rubbing and, and that good stuff. Does that really what they're showing, is that really it or do you do it differently? I do that. That's the basis of all massage. Um, mm-hmm. that feel good. It relaxes the body, it increases the blood flow. Um, that's the base of every massage. What I do that's a little different, more therapeutic, is if you have a tight spot that's kind of pulling you out of alignment I'll look for that and gently ease it up so that you'll be more balanced. Oh, that sounds so good. And some of them, uh, my sister was telling me she's back east. Mm -hmm. And the one that she goes to because of the damage that she did on her Mm -hmm. back in the accident. And they use some little round flat rocks. And they put it down the whole spine of her back. What exactly is that and what does it do? Um, the heated stones, I have that in my practice as well. Uh-huh. It's just adding um, the stones are heated, and so they're really warm, and heat just helps the muscles and the tissue just to melt and just to relax really well. So um, putting it next to the spine, there's some muscles that run right up next to the spine that mm-hmm. gets tied a lot on people. Um, which It just helps the muscles to relax without digging in with a lot of pressure. It's a different way of working. Oh, I am so ready for a massage. This sounds so good. It really does. And then the other thing if um, I, I'd like to ask you. Now, a lot of times people like to take bubble baths at home. I don't like bubble baths. What I like to do is get the sea salt, mm-hmm. you know, and I'll put it in a warm tub of water where it's not, doesn't burn your skin, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's what I like to do, something about that sea salt just kind of relaxes the, the whole body, you know. Now, is that a good thing or a bad thing to do? That's a wonderful thing to do. And really, I would recommend, along with the sea salt, to use some Epsom salts. Those oh, really? actually help to remineralize your body. It pulls out toxins and helps to loosen your muscles. It's a great thing to do in between massages to keep yourself loose and keep yourself healthy. And um, something else you could add to that are just a few drops of essential oils. I don't know if you've tried that before. No, but I have this candle, and the smell, it's... Um the, the purple flower. Um, Lavender. Thank you. Yeah, and, and that's what I do, you know, and I have that. I, I don't know. I just don't kind of like the oils and all of that. You know, it's just, that's not me. Mm. And so that's what I, so sea salt and Epsom salt. I'm going to mm. try that this weekend. You, you will really see a difference. I think the bubble bath is more chemical, so you're not going to get as benefit, as much benefit from it. But what you're doing with the sea salt, if you add the Epsom salt, that should be amazing for you. Ooh, and have some good classical music going, have my cup of tea. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what I am going to, uh, that's what I am definitely going to do. That's it, yeah. You know, and, oh, yes, yes, this sounds good. Now, tell us some more. Um, something that a lot of people don't realize is if they have, um, anyone have clicking or grinding in their joints, that could be a little warning sign that your muscles are tight and they're pulling the bones in close together. And if you don't take care of it, eventually you could have damage in the joint and have all sorts of problems like osteoarthritis, um, bursitis, and you might need, you know, surgery to help with that. So if you're hearing any clicking or grinding, any noises when you move, even if you don't have any pain, that's your body just trying to tell you that it needs a little bit of extra help. 
So they don't sound like the Tin Man like I do when my knee goes blunky, huh? <laughs> and, and you didn't get that, that oil treatment yet, right? <laughs> exactly. That, that is so, so cool. And then, now, how big are the, the rooms that you Now, walk us through, when somebody comes through the front door of your center, what do they should expect to see? Well, I'm in a doctor's office, and the doctor's office is set up like a spa. So when you come in, um, you'll most likely see a large pitcher of the spa water. I like to um, put some oranges sliced up from the orange groves right in Loma Linda Mm -hmm. and some mint from my garden. So it has an orange and mint flavor. And um, it's very modern and bright and very peaceful in there. You'll hear calm, relaxing spa music. And my room is way in the back. I have a small massage room, but it's very um, cozy, very calm. Um, just set up very simply. And you can just relax, listen to some good music, and just forget all your troubles for an hour or so. Oh, I am so there. I am so there. You know? And uh, unfortunately, boys and girls, I want to break in on this. The tickets for the California Theater, they are gone. We got the phone calls already. The tickets are gone. Sorry, the two peers that we had. But, you know, get onto the phone and you can call the California Theater at 885-5152. They have some tickets left. It's called the Gold Star. So call the theater, see what they have left, and hopefully you can get some from that gold star thing, and then you can actually go and see. But right now, sorry, our tickets are gone. And I want to say congratulations to the two winners that did call in and got the tickets. Okay, go on. Okay, so if if you have any aches and pains, or even if you're just feeling a little bit of of stress, um, you'll come on down to the office and give massage a try. Yes, and let's pump out your contact information. Yeah, once again, 25805 Barton Road, Suite 107, 909-206-9191. And now when you say Barton Road, because when I, because I'm up in, in the hill, and when I come down, and I get off Mountain View, and I take a left up to Barton, and then take a right because of the chamber. Now, is it in the area of the State of Brother um, and City Hall, or is it down closer to Anderson? It's actually closer to Redlands. If you get off on Mountain View exit and go all the way down to Barton Road, you will take a left oh, so it's onto Barton Road, and then you'll see it on your right. There's a new McDonald's, the new Walmart neighborhood store, past Walmart, past McDonald's, and then you'll see um, Yogurtlicious. I'm in the same complex as Yogurtlicious. I know well where you are. Oh, yeah. Ah, knows where you is. <laughs> and you'll see the treatment center sign on, on the building. Uh-huh. It's right up front facing Barton Road. You can't miss it. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. And talking about all of this, let's bump out about what happened to us when we were over at Arrowhead Country Club with Loma Linda Chamber for the golf tournament. And it was quite quite silly, don't you think? Yeah, we had a great time. We did, and uh, we got there at the crack of dawn, and I got there at uh, 7.15, you got there at 7.16. Just about, yeah. yeah. Just, just a minute, uh, a point, and they had so many golfers there already set up, you know, and they, um, Jose's Mexican food was there, and they were doing the breakfast and, and what have you. Everybody was busy getting all the prizes and the giveaways mm-hmm. and everything else done. And uh, Phil Collins, which is at the head of our chamber, mm-hmm. and him and Stephanie were going around trying to get everybody together. What gets me giggling, though, I- I'll tell you, Tanya, every year I get giggling. <laughs> right before, uh, because they actually start at 9 o'clock, mm-hmm. and at 15 to 9, they get all the golfers by their golf carts, mm-hmm. and they, they do a song, they do the, the, the prayer, and they talk a little bit about the course. They all jump into them golf carts, mm-hmm. and it's like you're at a car race show, you know, with that checkered flag going down. You know, get your engine started. They hit that flag. These guys, I mean, within seconds, boom, they are gone. Yeah, they were anxious to get on the, the green. Yeah. I didn't realize a golf cart could go that fast. 
<laughs> I know. I had to jump out of the way a I've couple of times. It. Yeah, I've seen that. And then uh, they left, and what's nice is because a lot of uh, different companies were sponsoring this, and through the golf course they have their setups, the different companies, and they were given uh, free giveaways and, and stuff to all the golfers. And then finally when they come back in, they they put the golf carts uh, where they're supposed to be, at, you know, on the number spot. The first thing you see them, they run right to the drinks. Have you noticed that? Every year, right to the drinks, you know, and then they start pigging out on all the food. Well, that, that is true. <laughs> yeah, so it was really nice. It was another huge, huge success this year. And uh, the chamber and everybody is very, very happy about it. And I and Tanya would like to personally thank everyone that got involved in it uh, this year. It was bigger. It seems like every year it gets bigger and bigger and better and better. Yeah, there were so many great prizes. So many vendors were there. Um, Mm -hmm. It was a great turnout. It it was. And, uh, again, we want to say congratulations to all the winners. Well, everybody was a winner because you finished the course. But all the winners that got the trophies and all the giveaways and all of that, I hope everybody has, you know, a really good Good summer, and we'll see you next year. And right now, we're going to take a small break. Hi, this is Cliff from Cliff's Pest Control. Have you had problems with pests lately? Cliff's Pest Control has been in business for over 40 years and is family-owned and operated. We can take care of your general pest problems. That's the ants, spiders, all the crawling bugs. And we also can take care of your termite problems. You can reach us at 909-887-1862. That's 909-887-1862. That's Close Pest Control, Inc., serving the Inland Empire for over 40 years. And we're back. Yes, you know, Cliff's Pest Control, I love these guys. Uh, I knew them forever. They belong to all the chambers and this and that, part of the community. And I can highly recommend Cliff and his company because he has been coming up to my house. He got rid of all the nasty little gophers that was eating up all my flowers and everything, and you get aggravated. And all of the bugs, if you want the best of the best, call Cliff's pest control. You will not be sorry that you called him. What did he do with the gophers? I don't know. I think he so just... You don't want to ask, do you? No, I, I think he just whacked them, put them in a little bag and say whacked whack, them away. Whacked, whacked them? Yeah, he just whacked them just a little bit on the head and, and carried them away. And I think and I think they have a village for gophers or something. I don't know what he does with them, but I know they got out of my garden. And real quick, you want to hear the joke of the week? I'm waiting to hear it. Okay, this one's really cute. A grasshopper walks into the bartender, and the bartender says, Hey, did you know we have a drink named after you? And the grasshopper says, You have a drink named Eric? I thought that was kind of cute. Bartender, gra- you, you know, everybody knows what a grasshopper is, you, you know, if you've been drinking. And, yeah, and now the new name is going to be Eric. And we thought that was kind of, that's a cute little joke. You know what I mean? And then also, why we're waiting for our next caller to come in. Now, Penny, where do you like to shop for your clothing and stuff like that? Sorry, I called you, Penny. I'm sorry, I'm looking at my notes. Hey. Tanya, I'm sorry. Tanya, where do you like to go shopping? Um, personally, I like anthropology um, store at the mall, but uh-huh. I don't do a whole lot of shopping. <laughs> oh, you don't? No. Oh, okay. I should do more. All right. And why don't you do a lot of shopping? Because I'm normally massaging people. I don't have time. <laughs> I love that answer. I love that answer. Well, you know, t- since you're in the Loma Linda area and talking about shopping, and this is right up your alley, you know, it's summertime, all the fresh fruits and vegetables are out there, you know, all the good, good stuff. And do you go to the farmer's market? You know, I haven't made it out there, but I've heard it's really, really good, and I need to. Oh, it's fabulous. Well, I uh, got this info off um, my web from the Chamber, and the Chamber of Commerce of Loma Linda, they have a huge farmer's market going over yeah, they there. Do. Yes, they do. And it's on the corner of Mountain and Anderson. And their new summer hours 
or from 5 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Oh, that's excellent. Yes. And so I wanted to uh, bump that out to you. And if you need some more information from them, you can call the Chamber Direct at 909-799-2828 and pop over there. They have all the local farmers there with all the good uh, veggies and fruit and all of this. They have other vendors there with clothing and thingamajiggies and whatchamacallits and doohickeys that you didn't realize that you needed until you actually see them. Well, thanks, Bev. I might actually have time since they open so late off to work. Thanks yeah. for telling me. Yeah, now since their hours change, I can pop over there myself. That's true. You know, which is really cool. And I just got a little note uh, from Rich from the board op room, and Joyce is on the phone. And what line is she on, Joey? All right. Hi. Sorry, I'm trying to juggle. Uh, she's on line 11. Okay, and did we get hold of Miss Penny yet? Working on it. That's okay. what I was doing. Okay, thank you. Hey, Joyce, how you doing? Hey, hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? What a nice show you have. Oh, today. thank you, my dear, and thank you for it's joining. Nice show, but today in particular, it's lovely, and I heard your music. It was wonderful. Well, good, and that music, I picked it out specially for Tanya, because of the therapy and massages. And Tanya, would you like to tell Joyce a little bit more if she happened to miss some of what you were just saying? Hi, Joyce. Hi, really Tanya. nice to talk How to you. you. I've heard good? a lot about you. I'm looking forward to meeting you in person. I am too. Well, um, what I do is a little different to um, just the spa relaxation massage because I actually try to find the cause instead of just going to the symptom to where someone feels it. So I work on trying to get someone aligned and to get rid of pain permanently. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And I love your accent. Oh, thank you. You have a lovely accent. I didn't hear at the beginning of the program. Where are you from? I'm from South Africa originally. I love it. You know, I, I, I have a confession to make. The first time... I thought of the UK, the, you know, because what, what, because a lot of us f- and that went to the UK and it's from the UK, the accents are so much alike, it's not even funny. I'll be honest, I struggle to tell a difference myself. Yes. <laughs> That's very good. That's very good. But Tanya, I, I love what you do, and I'll have to tell you that some of the most, when I've had an injury or something, some of the best treatment I ever had, bar none, was a good therapeutic massage. And I think whether you need it or not, you should uh, take care of it. I, I have a gentleman that I work with in a, um, a business way, and he gives a massage uh, every week, whether he needs it or not. And it just keeps him balanced and aligned and calm, and uh, I just love that. It's wonderful when you can do regular maintenance. Yes. Yes, it's, a, it's, it's some people think a massage is a luxury, but it isn't. I think it's a necessity. Okay, now, Joyce, can you hang on for one second? Don't go away. Uh, we got Penny from the Highland Senior Center on the other line, and we're going to be talking about casino night. And hopefully you two are on two different lines. So, so hang on, Joyce, okay? Hang on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We got her. She's on. She's on line 22. Okay. Hi, Penny. How you doing? Hi, Bev. I'm great. How are you? We're doing good, and I'm so glad we had a chance to talk to you, and thank you for taking this time uh, for us. And let's tell everybody, please, what is happening next week over there in Highland. <laughs> I'm so excited. Up, yeah. <laughs> I think you're just as excited as I am, but we are having our annual casino night in Taste of the Town uh, Thursday night, and we're pretty excited because we just sold out, we sold a little over about 225 tickets. We did, Um, yay! I know, and you know, the nice thing is it all goes to a great cause, the Highland Senior Center, so it's nice that the community came together and supported this event like that. Yes, and this is the 10th annual. Yes, it is. Yeah, for 10 years we've been playing cards. Oh, God, I love it. <laughs> I know, I know, don't you? Yes. And, uh, and it's been a fun time. We really haven't found a home up until last year because we didn't have a site big enough. Mm-hmm. And so we were going from a couple of different places, 
But I think we really kind of found our home unless we outgrow this um, at the San Manuel Event Center. Yes, and it's a beautiful building. And if we keep on going like we are, by next year, we're going to have to find a a palace. A, a palace. <laughs> I hope so. I hope that's the case. Yes. You know, and uh, that that would work really cool. And, um, Penny, guess what? What? We're here with Tanya, our new massage person there, and, and she was talking about all the neat massages that she does, and I want, I'm going to give you each other's phone number. I want you to definitely get in touch with her. And then we have Joyce from Costa Mesa on the other line. Perfect. Well, I was listening to... Uh Tanya about the massage is about it's not a luxury, it's a necessity. Uh-huh. And I have to agree with her. I was seeing a physical therapist because I had frozen shoulder. So I went to my chiropractor instead and he hooked me up with his masseuse and um, they by far have fixed my problem more so than physical therapy. Really? Yeah. And I, I know it sounds bizarre, but they get in there and they break up that deep tissue, that scar tissue. And um, so it, it really has helped me a lot. That's amazing. And Joyce, you still there? I am. I am. And I, I think that um, I, I was one that I really believe that massage is a necessity, not a luxury. And Penny, I'd love to come sometime and see your, uh, Deb has told me so much about it, but I'd love to come and see your your facility and what you do. And as kind of my background. So um, I'd love to meet you and, and chat a bit. And you should get Tanya out there and do therapeutic massages for your people. Yes. I agree. I, I meet the best people on Deb's show that I have so much in common with, and um, it's really kind of nice. So absolutely, I'd love to hook up with you guys. And now, Tanya, do you do the the massages on a weekend, like on a Saturday? Um, No, I don't do massages on Saturdays. Um, I normally do it more in the week, but I am available in the evenings. So if someone can't come during the day because of work, Uh I'm available in the evenings, Monday through um, Friday. Really? Okay. Don't lose that thought. Penny, Joyce... Uh, the three of us are going to ask Tanya this question all at the same time. If us ladies can work out a timing where all three of us could be with you at one time, is that possible? <laughs> it would be a little difficult for all three at the same time. <laughs> but, I mean, we could be in the same room and, and, and oh, wait. Definitely. And, and t- so it you- would be great. <laughs> The only the only problem with that would be I think we would not be quiet and enjoy the massage because all we would be doing is talking and laughing. <laughs> yeah. To that. What Penny? Person we know and love. <laughs> and real quick, ladies, why I got you on the phone? Uh, we've been talking about everything, and, and Tanya, I, I love that she's here with us. She is such a character. She's so one of us. It's it's unbelievable. Now, I'm going to ask both of you the same question that I asked Tanya, all right? And, Penny, I'm going to start with you first. In your neck of the woods, darling, where do you like to go shopping for shoes, your luggage, which we call purses, or purses, which you call luggage, and all of that stuff. Where do you like to go? I just lost Penny, so I'm calling her back right now. Okay. All right. Joyce? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, we I'm just very- lost Penny, so Joey's going to try to get Penny back, and so we're going to ask you the same question. Okay. I'm lucky. I live in a very nice area. I mean, I'm in an, in an area that's very close, close to one of the nicest malls around, and that's South Coast Plaza in Costa Mesa. South Coast Plaza has everything, mm-hmm. everything known to man. But I really like looking for discount shoe stores. Go to Ross. South Coast Plaza, but you know what? I uh, over in your neck of the woods, Miss Bev. Mm-hmm. They have that. They have an outlet store, a Skechers outlet out out. Um, what do they call it? Outlet store. Have you ever been over there? And it's right close to the studio. Yeah, I did. And you weren't that thrilled. Mm. I, I, I can't say because you know, uh, you know, they they do have some good stuff, but you just have to hit it at the right moment. You know, now, that, that's like uh, with any store. What about the 
pay for less shoe stores. It seems like, you know, you get summer shoes, you buy one, get one half off. Yes. And shoes that you're not going to wear, I mean, it just depends on how your feet are. I have to be careful with my feet because I've danced forever mm-hmm. in tall, in high heels with pointy toes, so I have wide feet. Mm-hmm. But um, some of the Payless sandals are really nice. But I do, again, if you want to go to a really nice place, South Coast Plaza has a really big selection of really good things. But you, if you like bargains, the, the um, Payless Pay- shoe stores, and I like outlet stores. Right. Here's, here's the key. We got Penny back. Yay, Penny, you're back with us. Yay. I'm really sorry. Somehow I dropped from you guys. Uh, don't worry about it, darling. You're back. Don't worry about it. We're okay. talking about the best places to buy shoes. And uh, Joyce is just saying that she likes the outlet and uh, pay less. Right now, for the season's shoes, you know, your flip-flops, your sandals, the wedge sandals that they have and this and that. The two places that, the two, the two places I, I can highly, highly recommend where the quality is good, the prices are good, is go to Payless Shoe Store or go to Marshall's. Marshall's is great. Yes, yes. And and they're always changing and rotating, you know, all, all of the good stuff that they have. Absolutely. Now, Penny, where do you like to shop, darling? I'm not a huge clothes shopper. I'm more of a home shopper, but I do go to... TJ Maxx, Home yeah. Goods, and Ross, and all those, and, and Macy's. If I really on a fallback, if I really know I need to find something. So, um, other than that, I think we all shop at the same places. Yeah, and, you know Macy's, Home Goods, and their and their kitchen appliances are fabulous. I love Home love Goods. them. I get into yes. so much trouble when I go there. You too. Oh, yeah. good. I'm not the only one. You know, and I'll tell you another good place to start buying now is Anna's Linens. They got all new stuff. I I mean, it it is gorgeous. And it seems like I'm in there every other week to get the ads and, you know, have the meetings with them and this and that. And it seems like every time I go in, they have a brand new comforter. And I'm and I was laughing to Gail Kelly, one of the managers. She's a good friend of mine, a good bud. And I told her, I says, I am going to have to keep on buying houses, for I can keep on getting bedrooms, for I can get all these new comforters. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> you know. And and we we're laughing about that. And now, and Penny, we were talking um, earlier before, and let, let's get back to this a little bit about the casino night, the fundraiser. Now, how, and, and you stated that we're sold out, which I'm so happy about. Now, what is the address and the phone number if people want some more information about this lovely fun night? Okay. Um, well, is that the, um, and, and Bev, if I go dead on you, that's because I'm in the car. Um, I'm not driving. I have somebody driving me. I'm emceeing Senator, um, Morales, Women of Distinction, and I, I have the Ooh. pleasure of being with one of the women in the car right now, but we're on our way to the event, so my phone might go dead, but just a little bit of information, the casino night. So the Hampton Inn uh, Plaza in Highland has a big complex, and, and part of that is the new uh, building that they built, which is the event center, and uh, it's San Manuel Event Center. It's Thursday night, but if they want some more information on how they can get involved, or if they want to be a food vendor, um, yes. they can call the Highland Senior Center at 862-8104, and they're welcome to call us, and they can be a prize sponsor or any kind of thing, but um, <clears throat> we're, we're open to a little bit of everything, so I never want to close all my all my doors and leave mm-hmm. some options open. And I'll tell you, boys and girls, I've been involved with Penny for a number of years, and we even do the uh, cancer walks and everything else together. We have a long history, and we're both crazy. That's why we get along so well. <laughs> and I'll tell you, this casino night, they knock it out of the park. They really do. And it is so much fun, and it goes to such a good cause. And Penny, bump out w- what the cause is. Why do we have these fundraisers? Well, because the Highland Senior Center is a nonprofit, a uh, complete nonprofit senior center, and we serve about 3,800 seniors um, for 
recreational activity for physical fitness, social, um, a daily hot lunch, outreach transportation for homebound seniors. We have to raise about $550,000 a year because we are not city funded. And mm-hmm. so it's a complete nonprofit, and that's why we do all these fundraisers to make sure that we can keep the operations running. And it goes to such a good cause. And you're, I don't want to call it a hospital. It's a center. And the way it's decorated and the things that you do with all them seniors, you know, it's, it's amazing. And I think some of them can move faster than I can. You know, and I'm going, and Some of them are amazing, <laughs> Deb. You're right. Yes. And one more time with the address and phone number in www. www.highlandseniorcenter.org. Uh, org, I think. Yes, it um, is. Uh, okay. Yeah. And so, or they can reach us at the Highland Senior Center at 862-8104, and we'll be happy to give them more information. And, Penny, thank you for your time. I know that you're on to the other event. Ha- you know, have a drink for me. Eat some food uh, okay. for me. And then call me tomorrow and fill me in on who wore what and everything else. Give me all the gossip, darling. <laughs> you know what we do? We need, like, the fashion. Uh, somebody there with a microphone on what ladies are wearing what and how pretty everyone is because we have some amazing women in the Inland Empire. So I'm going to call and I'm going to give you all the 411 on all the women tonight. Oh, good. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> and so, honey, you guys be safe out there, and I'll talk to you soon, Okay. Okay, Bev, have a good night. You too. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. okay Joyce, you still there? I am. Okay. Uh, we just got the fingers from uh, Joey here. And so before we have to, to leave, uh, real quick, since we're talking about events and things coming up, uh, the big event that's coming on to you here in a couple of weeks, 4th of July. Well, I, yeah, 4th of July at my uh, Bounce to Health uh, Wellness uh, Studio, we have a special 4th of July bounce class, and we bounce to patriotic music, and it's only $4 in honor of 4th of July, so people come and they bounce, they move their, their lymphatic fluids, they build up their immune system, and they just have a blast, and no matter what age you are, or no matter where your physical ability level is, Anybody can do this, and it's a lot of fun. And uh, I know that there are a lot of people going on Thursday night. If some people are in Orange County and they can't make it to Highland Thursday night, I have a wonderful free seminar on health and wellness with two two of my doctors that come and visit us on our radio show Tuesdays at 4, which is the Getting Healthy and Happy uh, with Mm -hmm. Joyce show. Tuesdays at 4 on KCAA. So uh, if people want more information, they can call me at 714-754-4003, and we're here because we care. Isn't that right? You got it. And, Joyce, I'm going to put this on the page and all that other good stuff. We're going to say goodbye to you. Thank you for calling in, and I'll talk to you later on. Okay, Okay, sweetheart. Thank you. Have a good weekend. You too. Okay, Tanya. It's your turn again. Yay! And before we have to leave, honey, please bump out all your contact information. Okay, 25805 Barton Road, Suite 107, 909 206 9191 is the phone number. One more time. Phone number is 909 206 9191, and I'm right in Barton Road near Mountain View in Loma Linda, California. Good. And I want to make one big announcement before we leave. Next week, boys and girls, when you tune in to the program, we're not going to have a normal program. Why? Because I am going to be celebrating, I and my whole team here at KCAA, we're going to be celebrating my 350th show. That's 350. So tune in next week, same time, same station. You can hear all the fun. Dr. Bombay and the Blue Machine Band is dancing us out. Be safe, be happy, and talk to you soon. Ciao. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Joey. You're on board KCAA's Inland Talk Express. KCAA, Loma Linda, 1050 AM.